Hey, hey, long time no see. It's pretty late here on a, uh, on a Friday evening. I'm getting ready to turn in for the night. I'm gonna do some club racing out at the track tomorrow. And I know that I don't upload nearly as much as I used to. I miss you guys. In fact, right this very minute, there are zero people watching and I'm cool with that. I just wanted to make a quick video and show you guys something that's near and dear to my heart. If you've ever, if you've ever purchased or used a product that has this logo on it, the company my wife and I started six or seven years ago, that, uh, that journey and that passion, it started for me uh, way, way, way back. Hey there, hey Dylan. The very first car I ever had was this Tamiya Grasshopper. Now this is a re-release to be fair. And just, if any of you guys know my backstory, you know that the first car I actually ever wanted was this right here. This was the car I dreamed of, the Tamiya Frog. The wing is on loosely and upside down and I never painted it. My wife bought me this uh, as a Christmas gift. It's a re-release and it's probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite RC car because I wanted it so badly. In 1986, I was six years old and this was the car I wanted so bad. But because it had a 540 sized motor in it, my dad decided I needed something, maybe it's a little bit slower. And so he bought me this grasshopper. And if I remember correctly, they were about 69 bucks back in 1986. And, uh, and so I thought what I would do is just make this quick video for you guys or together. Maybe this is for, for myself, you know, and uh, I thought I would show you guys what it was like to open a kit like this back in 1986. Simple as that. So, uh, like I said, in case you guys missed the beginning of the video, if you guys, uh, if you guys have ever purchased or used a raw speed product, that journey began here in 1986. So I'm gonna grab the camera, we'll flip it around, and I'm gonna show you guys what's in the box. Uh, I, a little bit of a sidebar for you guys. I don't know when, but at some point in the last few years, two things happened. One, I got overwhelmed at raw speed, moving so much of our production and tool and die work uh, into our own facility here in the United States. That was overwhelming because I had to learn all the CNC machining and all the, the tool and die and stuff. And then the other part was my expectations, the bar I had set for making videos just got so high that if I couldn't just nail it with production and with the videography and the sound, I never released videos. And so I'm almost ashamed to tell you guys this, but I probably have like a hundred videos or more, maybe 200 videos that I just never, I never let them out into the public. I never let them see the light of day. And so with that in mind, there's no microphone. This is just my iPhone on a tripod facing the wrong way and I miss making videos. So I'll do my best to get back. I'm not going to make a promise I can't keep, but I'll, I'll, I will do my best. With that said, let me turn this thing around. You guys can see up here. Those are the other kits. It's a Blackfoot. That's the frog box. That's the lunch box. And that's my LXT box. So let me get this thing out of the box and then I'll cut you guys loose so you can go enjoy your Friday. Tamiya was known for having this just, just awesome, kind of almost cartoonish, just graphical box art. And I always thought it was super trick as it shows a little bit of the drive line, kind of a cross section or a, an illustrated, you know, illustrated view. This car came with a 380 sized electric motor back when I was a kid. Just more stylized artwork across the uh, across the perimeter, of the outer edge of the box, and uh, and that's that. This one didn't. It, I bought this off of eBay, and it came with no seals, so we didn't have to cut any of the seals to get this thing open. So let me show you guys what this thing looks like. Keep in mind, this is a this is a this is a re-release. This is not the original. If I can get this lid off, we'll be all right. And that's it. This is what you got when you bought one of these kits back in 1986. Notice that it's got a uh, an ABS body. That's not polycarbonate, it's ABS. And 
I begged my dad to put the factory stickers on the body, but my dad painted it cherry red. So, so this time, since I'm going to build this one, not my dad, it's just going to get the box art, you know, it's just going to get the box art. So Tamiya has always been known for having amazing instructions and, uh, just incredibly thorough. The illustrations are, are done really well. There was no, I shouldn't say there was no, but see that there's an electronic speed control. Well, back in 1986, you had a little wiper speed control. And if I remember correctly, it came with a little balloon to help protect it uh, from the elements. The tires, by modern standards, you'll see that there's no glue on the tires. These are beadlock, right? These are three-piece wheels. And you guys will get a kick out of this especially if you guys are uh, race RC cars. But the tires, I mean, they're just, they're like rigid. <laughs> they're rigid, hard rubber. I mean, this is, this is not a super soft uh, compound. This is like, a, this is, they're almost plastic in nature. And of course, all the parts came on trees, just like, kind of like buying a model that you would assemble from like the hobby store. You know, it's like a, like a non-radio controlled model, the driver. And uh, I cannot, I literally cannot, I probably couldn't overestimate the impact Tamiya had on the world when they started releasing these kits back in the, I'm assuming early 80s, possibly late 70s. I really don't know for, for certain. But it seems like every time I post a picture of a kit like this, there's a comment that says, man, the, the Hornet was my first kit or the Frog was my first kit. And so I decided to put together a little collection. You guys see we have the Grasshopper and that was my first kit. I never owned a Hornet, but the Hornet was basically the exact same car. Let's see if we can put these things side by side just so I can show you guys this. There you go. The Hornet was basically the same car, but it came with spiked tires like the Frog had, it came with better shock absorbers, and it came with a polycarbonate body and a faster motor. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what all every six-year-old kid wants, right? The fastest motor he can get. And so just a little bit of a trip. This is just a little bit of a trip through memory lane for me. I'm going to turn this camera back around for you guys real quick. So that's it. Nothing major here. I wanted to just fire up the camera, do a quick live video, say hi to you guys. I miss making content for you guys. I miss making videos. There's tons of amazing content out there these days. Ryan Styles Harris, Mark Santa Maria, and so many others that are making awesome content, and I'm thankful for that. I promise you guys, I will turn the camera on. I will put some content up here in the future. I'm going to be less picky. I'm going to be a little less stressed out, a little bit less focused uh, on just grinding it out in the tool and die shop at work and uh, get back to having some fun and enjoying this hobby uh, that my dad kind of gifted me as a six-year-old boy. So thanks for coming to hang out with me for a few minutes late on a Friday night and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.